Hey there, Griff Hamlin here. Welcome and thanks for joining me today. In today's video, uh, I want to take a look at three licks that I stole from Joe Bonamassa and Eric Clapton in the Further On Up The Road recording uh, from the Live at the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, I was watching it on YouTube. And I know we've been talking a lot lately about, you know, using root notes that, that maybe aren't that the one we're always used to, the one on the first string. And I often talk about how the one on the second string, a second string root and a third string root are so great because they allow you to have a little bit more room to move around. And so I was watching and I noticed that, man, these guys just play right out of those same spots that I talk about, but that so many people are still so unfamiliar with. So we're gonna take a look at these today, look at how they're combining major and minor based around the, the root note pivots like I talk about. And, uh, you know, hopefully you'll just have some new licks to play with. So let's take a look at the first one. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, so that's a that's a straight up, you know, Joe Bonamassa, and you can kind of hear, you know, that's just got his sound, a little bit of fire in it. Um, but notice that what is going on, we're basing around the um, the second string root. Now, a lot of times people do know the second string root, but because of like the four note solo pattern. But here. He's going through box three region, and I love this region. And not only that, if you look at this particular root note, from a minor perspective, it's box three. And a major perspective, it's box four. So notice that in this lick, He's just going back and forth between the eight and the 11 there, but then he jumps down to the ninth fret and grabs a major note. And that's a great move. So it's just sort of a little nod to the major because he's playing, he's playing what is technically, you know, box three technically would be the minor sound, but he's playing it over the one chord. Now that's totally okay, but to have that little nod to the major sound using just that one note. Again, making a point of or pinpointing one of the notes that is different between the sounds to really accentuate it. It's a great move, one I hope you'll uh, hope you'll take to heart. So we have, and then it just goes through the box. Okay, and it's really pretty, it's a pretty straightforward lick and I'll, I'll leave the tab below this video. But I hope you'll take some time and work on it. It's, again, it's it's so like, you know, it's Bonamassa, it's definitely his sound, you know, it's a little bit more aggressive. Uh, when you hear it on the recording, it just sounds really good. So um, that happens at about one minute and 52 seconds into the video. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna embed the video on this page too so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, and like I said, there's there's dozens and dozens of great licks in this, but these are just some, some ones that really stuck out as exemplifying this thing that we've been talking about. Um, so notice that again, using that that one pivot point right there, but from the other side, not from not with the third finger on it, but with the first finger on it. And grabbing that one note out of the major sound to uh, to give it a little a little bit of extra pizzazz and to you know give that nod to the major sound. Okay. Uh, so the next couple, let's take a look at one of the Clapton licks really quick. A one, two, three. Four, one. All right, now that one's very simple, but it's based around the third string root. Okay, so again, we're in G, and my third string root is here at the 12th fret, okay? Now, if I'm if I'm not on my first finger, and he's not, he I think he's centered around his middle finger, but it could be either middle or third finger. From here, if I go up, I'm looking at box four for a minor sound. Okay, now that's not something that most people are super comfortable with doing. And this is a straight minor lick. It's really not very fancy at all. Right, 12, 11, 13, 13, 11, 12. He's just going through the box. But it is a great example 
of hanging out on a route that you don't normally hang out on and there's a nice bend there it's just a nice lick in a position that you may not already be comfortable with okay uh so that one is at uh, about three minutes and 25 seconds in i have some notes here that i'm referring to because i knew i wouldn't remember where all these occur now right before that i have another one check this out a one two three four so notice that Again, it's kind of centering around that third string, but also getting down to that fifth string root. Now, the fifth string root is great and one of my favorites. And we have box four for the minor sound or box five for the major sound. So what he's doing is going, sliding into the 12th fret and up to the 10th and then sliding Now this is really cool because it goes from box four and it goes into box three. Because remember they all connect, right? And then it ends it on a major note. Okay, so it switches to box five right there at the end to get the major sound. And he does that because right on that beat, uh, he, it's, uh, if I recall, um, that's it, that's at three minutes and 19 seconds. And it, it, you're going to have to listen for it because it's literally right as his solo is kind of starting, um, towards the end. And it's going from the five chord to the top of the form. So it starts out, he wants the minor sound over the five chord, but that last note being that it slides right into the major sound, uh, it, you know, right on the one, it, again, it's just one of those kind of textbooks, textbook licks where it, uh, it just dives right in and nails that major third right as the chord change happens and it's really sweet. So uh, I hope you dig these licks. I hope you'll kind of try them out. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll put some tab for them here, uh, make a little PDF or put them in the page or something and try and play around with these. Now, you know, don't try to learn them all at once, please. I, I know I'm doing three licks and I don't usually, I just do one, uh, but just, just take one at a time, play around with it. If you dig what's going on here, uh, I do have a course called Major Minor Blue Shapes that gets into this in a lot more detail. We go through every single root note in all of the five boxes all over the fretboard. Uh, and it, it would be a great course if this is the kind of thing that you're into and this is kind of where you're at and you're playing right now. So you might want to take advantage of that. Uh, but regardless, have some fun with these licks. Learn them one at a time. Take one lick, play them over a bunch of different jam tracks, get a feel for it then go on to the next one, okay? So there's several days worth of stuff here to play with. All right, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you get something out of it, and I will talk to you soon.